Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you the Drograce WP350. This camera comes with about as many accessories as you could probably think of. Although it does not come with a head mount or a chest mount, it does come with helmet mounts and other things like that. So the camera comes in a 100% waterproof case up to 99 feet or about 30 meters. So you can pretty much go anywhere with this camera. It is pretty drop resistant. I have already dropped it a few times and it is also very very good at recording things in slow motion and underwater. You can turn the camera on by pushing this button here and holding for a few seconds and you will see a light light up right there and then it'll start powering up on the main screen. Once that is powered up, you can now start recording and monitoring your videos. So to switch different to different modes, you must press this on and off slash mode button just again like you turned it on and off. As you can see, I am in 1080p 30fps right now. If you switch the mode, it'll go to 16 megapixel camera. You go into the next mode, which is 720p at 120 FPS. This is the highest frame rate you will get out of this camera. There is no 360 or anything like that. It's just 120 so you can get some pretty nice slow motion with it. Press mode once again. You will now go into the videos that you have already recorded and you can switch to those using these two buttons on the side and play with the start and stop button. Switch the mode again. You are now in the settings. Press the pressing button. You are now in settings. You can now Switch the video resolution to whatever you want. There are many different resolutions. There's 721, 20 FPS, 720, 60, 720, 30, and 1080, 60. There is also 2.7K at 30 FPS. I am going to choose the 1080, 30 FPS. And now we can also turn sound on and off. We can do slow motion. We can also do different modes as in 1080 and 60 as another thing for slow motion. So let's go ahead and with 720, 120. Press the mode again. You are now in the photo settings. Press it again. You are now in the exposure and basically camera settings. Do it once again. You got language, date and time, format, all that kind of stuff. And now you press OK to exit. So now you're back to the main screen. I will put some sample pictures and videos on screen right now as this thing can record in pretty good quality as you can tell. It does not take the best pictures but for only $60 you can get a cr pretty great deal with this thing. Like I just said on Amazon you can get this for about $60. I'll put that on screen right now. And to turn this thing back off, all you do is hold the mode button for about 3 seconds and the light blinks and makes a little noise and it powers off. For only $60, this is a very great deal for a small action camera off brand such as GoPro. I would not recommend go going ahead and buying a, like a $300 GoPro when you can just buy a $60 off brand that records just as good as those higher branded ones. Anyway, I would 100% recommend this to someone, as in me, who just wants to record a few action camera shots, as you can do underwater, and you can do action, you can do slow motion, you can do many things with this camera. I would 100% recommend this, and I will also put an Amazon link down in the description. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know if you want to see more tutorials or videos on this camera, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.